Hello there. Studies have repeatedly shown how active investors consistently underperform the market. That's partly to do with costs, but also behaviour. For example, we often panic when markets start to fall. But investors are also irrational when it comes to deciding which stocks and asset classes to invest in. And that's all down to something called confirmation bias. Here's Tim Richards, an expert in behavioural finance. Back in the day when I was roaming bulletin boards, it was, um, it was very, very striking. There was a pattern of behaviour. So people would invest in a, in a share. And if somebody else came along and told them how much they liked it and all the good things about it, they'd get massive support. As soon as somebody popped up and actually said, well, actually, we don't think this is such a good idea, the response was to attack the poster. It wasn't to attack the idea. It was to attack the poster. And we are habitually uh, driven to look for confirmation of our ideas. In fact, we find it very, very difficult when we're presented with something to think of ways of disconfirming it. And the brain just doesn't work that way. You know, if we're presented with a list of things, we only look at the list. We don't try and think of all the other things that could possibly happen. And there's, there's lots and lots of research on, on confirmation bias, about, you know, how people just comprehensively, consistently fail to look for the things that would disconfirm their idea. Closely related to confirmation bias is overconfidence. Simply put, investors think they're better at trading on the stock market than they actually are. In 1998, Terence O'Dean, Professor of Finance at the University of California, Berkeley, published a study analysing the activity of 10,000 trading accounts in the US. Odin showed that investors habitually overestimated the profit potential of the stock trades they made. In reality, the profits they made typically didn't even cover their transaction costs. And on average, the stocks investors bought underperformed the stocks they sold. There's, um, there's some evidence that we are hardwired to be overconfident. Um, and, I mean, this evidence goes into you know, some of the... Um, the neurology of the way the brain works. It appears that, you know, in some circumstances, the brain is um, much, much happier, will weight more heavily um, information that is, is positive than information which is negative. So over-optimism um, is, is a classic behavioural bias, it tends to affect everybody. Perhaps what we're actually seeing is, is the way that the brain actually works. So, as an investor, you should avoid simply following your own instincts. You should also guard against ignoring information that contradicts your opinions. You should also be aware of your limitations. Remember, the market reflects the opinions of millions of people, including the professionals. It simply isn't realistic for most of us to assume that we have an edge over everyone else. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.